Today, we're featuring the deadliest and the most dangerous skin cancer, melanoma. It can spread quickly if ignored, but if caught early, the survival rate is over 95%. Welcome back to our Remember series, where you get clear, concise health information in simple language in under five minutes. I'm Dr. Marie Azizian, a board-certified general surgeon and an IFM certified functional medicine physician. So what is melanoma? Melanoma begins in melanocytes. Those are the pigment producing cells in the skin. Unlike many other skin cancers, melanoma doesn't always stay confined to the skin's surface. It has a unique ability to invade deeper layers and spread through the bloodstream or lymphatic system to other organs like the lungs, liver, brain, or bones. Often due to genetic predisposition, Melanoma doesn't necessarily appear on sun-exposed areas. It can develop on the scalp, under the nails, on the palms or soles, and even inside the eye. That's what makes it especially dangerous because it can hide in places that you wouldn't normally check. So what makes a mole suspicious for melanoma? What do we look for? So let's talk about the A, B, C, D, E's of melanoma. So A asymmetry. So one half of the mole doesn't match the other. B, border. And here we're talking about irregular, jagged, or blurred edges. C, color. Multiple shades of brown, black, red, or even white within the same mole. D, diameter. Larger than six millimeter, which is about the, the size of a pencil eraser. But unfortunately, there are melanomas that are smaller than six millimeter as well. E, evolving. Any mole that changes in size, shape, color, or develops new symptoms like itching or bleeding. Of all these, evolving is often the most important clue. Any change in a mole deserves medical attention. Also in adults, a new mole also warrants a checkup. So now let's move on to the risk factors. Well, I have to preface that Anyone can develop melanoma, but certain factors raise the risk. Fair skin, freckles, or light-colored eyes. A history of blistering sunburns, especially as a child. Family history of melanoma, which often means that there is a genetic predisposition that runs in families. Having many or unusual moles. Use of tanning beds, that's clearly preventable. However, melanoma doesn't spare people with darker skin it actually may present in somewhat unusual body locations, such as palms, soles, and under the nails. What can you do to prevent melanoma? And here are the essential steps. Apply a broad-spectrum sunscreen with SPF 30 or higher daily. In the summer, apply to all exposed areas and then reapply every an hour and a half to two hours when outdoors. In the winter, apply to face and ears, and usually once a day is enough. Apply it even if you are indoors. Avoid tanning beds completely. And of course, wear hats, sunglasses, and protective clothing. And stay in the shade during peak sun hours between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. We'll do a self-check once a month and have your partner look at hard-to-see areas like your back or scalp. Don't forget to check your nails and also soles of your feet. Schedule a full body skin exam once a year or more often, depending on your dermatologist recommendations, which usually take into account your personal cancer history and genetic risk. When caught early, melanoma is highly treatable. Remember, melanoma doesn't wait. Protect your skin, know the warning signs, and never ignore a changing mold. Early detection is the key to survival. If you enjoyed this video, click like, share, subscribe. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Until next time, bye-bye.